Hey everybody, uh, Troy from TNA Adventures. Um, so I put solar panel up on our Class A RV. We got a 2018 Winnebago Intent 31P. It's a 32 foot. So I'm doing eight panels. So I got six of them up right now already. And I gotta get two, some brackets still for the other two, but I wanted to show you kind of what I did here. It's just gonna be short and sweet and ugly. So the, the video anyway. <laughs> but uh, so what I did was I bought three quarter inch aluminum tubing, hollow tubing, <clears throat> and connected the brackets to the rigid panels from Renergy. It's gonna be 800 total watts. But uh, so yeah, the three quarter inch tubing, the brackets that come with the, the rigid panels. And what I did was I drilled a hole that's bigger than the screw that comes with these that you're supposed to put into the end of your uh, roof. But I didn't want to put all them screws in there. So I just put one here, I, you know, the head will fit through there and it goes through the bottom and drills in. On each end I did that, there and there. And then what I did on the bottom was I got uh, VHB high tack tape double-sided tape and put on the rest of the bottom of this, clean this with alcohol, um, pushed it down real good. And where the screws were gonna go through, I put a dab of, of uh, lap sealant underneath on the bottom of, of this on two spots and then push this down. And this, this adhesive is just an extra protection. That stuff is really strong. And then screwed it in <clears throat> and then mounted all of these to the tubing with stainless steel self-tapping screws and the idea behind that is I can remove these without taking them out of here and screwing up the holes I can remove the these panels if I ever have to replace any or work on them or whatever I just have to take the lap sealing off I just did this for extra protection so nothing gets in here and yeah that's kind of what I came up with I didn't really want to put you know, I got eight panels and there's 64 screws for those eight panels. So I didn't want to put 64 holes in. So rather than that, I, you know, basically four holes per panel. So I'm doing 32 holes. So half the, half the holes. And I sealed everything around here just to be safe with lap sealant around both sides. And then underneath these, I put butyl tape. So when I screwed this in, it seals this because I didn't want water to get in here and just stay in here and work on maybe going where those are going to the roof. But uh, it's very solid. It ain't gonna go nowhere. But I figured I'd just give you kind of a little quick down and dirty video of this. But like I said, I gotta get two more bracket, two more aluminum tubings to finish these two. And then I'll be ready to run the wire, connect them up and then run it down into the, into the RV somewhere. Probably we have a room closet, right? When you walk into the left, probably go down through there or something right in this area and then do that so yep figured i'd give you a little quick video but like i said it's a renergy 800 watt 12 volt by 24 volt either you could do either one system and right now i'm only going to run 100 amp hour lithium battery and uh i'll probably add another one later or maybe another one or two or three later on but right now we're just going to go with one just to give us a little bit extra oomph because the house batteries just suck and they're deep cell and they're probably not even the right ones. And they've been drained to zero so many times they probably don't even hold a charge very good because they die all the time. But, uh, but yeah, so I hope you enjoy this. If you have any questions, just shoot me a text. Just down and dirty video, like I said, just to give you guys a kind of a clue on how to mount this stuff. All right, Troy from Teenage Adventures. Like and subscribe. Later.